Protest, noun, a formal statement or gesture of objection or approval, especially by a group. Verb, to make a strong declaration, either for or against a position. History and etymology. Protest entered English through Old French from protester, which came directly from Latin protestari, meaning to declare publicly, testify or protest. It's comprised of two parts, pro meaning forth or before, where we ultimately get the prefix pre meaning forward or before, plus testari from testis, meaning to witness. Testari is where we get the word to testify, as in to testify in court. Prescription. A protest can take many shapes and sizes, ranging from a single person on a street corner holding a sign to a million people swarming the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Recently, protests have taken on the form of kneeling during the National Anthem before football games. For those kneeling, they believe they're publicly testifying that they don't stand for injustice and police brutality in America. That may be the statement they're trying to make, but what a lot of Americans are hearing is that they believe America and the symbols of America and anyone standing for the flag and the anthem also stands for this injustice. The people interpreting their protest this way have taken it as a personal insult, and I don't really blame them for thinking that. But the point I really want to get across uh, the point I really want to make in this video is that all those people that are standing for the national anthem, they are also protesting. They are publicly declaring that they stand for freedom, liberty, and justice. That is the message they want to send when they stand for the national anthem. Protesting is an important part of American life, but we need to be careful how we interpret others' protests, and how we come across when we protest. If we protest in a way that can be misrepresented, it probably will be, and you'll end up being misinterpreted intentionally by those who would gain by making you look the fool. Thank you for watching. If you like this definition for the word, please give this video a like, and if you didn't, let me know down in the comments below. If you're a lexophile like me, a lover of words, please subscribe to my channel for a new word every week. Feel free to share this video with others to help them understand and learn more about the words we use every day. And as always, I've left links in the description to resources and ways you can help support my project.